Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This video is for subject ECM 366 Civil Engineering Quantities and Estimation That is offered for program EC110 for University Technology Mara In this video, we are going to cover topic of roadworks Specifically for rigid pavement The next slide shows the cost outcomes and program outcomes for this topic. Next, the lesson outcomes is displayed in this slide. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to calculate and prepare taking off sheet and bill of quantity for root works and evaluate bill of quantities for major elements of civil engineering works in accordance with Malaysian civil engineering standard methods of measurement. Let's take a look on example for concrete road prepare taking off and bill of quantities for the concrete road shown in figure below provided that length of dowels is 0.5 meter and 10 dowels are used for each expansion joint assume 20 mm dowel bar is 2.466 kilogram per meter first the diagram show the layout of the road basically this is a junction road with a footpath the dimension is provided in this layout diagram and then the cross section of the road is also provided basically the cross section is in this angle we can see in the cross section of the road it has the paving slab or the footpath there is also concrete curb at both sides of the road the dimension of curb is provided in this diagram. The width of the road is also provided as well as the width of the footpath. And it is mentioned that the thickness of this concrete road is 180 mm. There is a fabric reinforcement under the concrete road and it is provided 3 kg of fabric reinforcement per square meter. There is also a layer of waterproof paper and the thickness for the footpath is provided as 50 mm. Based on the diagram provided to us, we know that this road is a T-junction and also this road has a footpath or pedestrian lane. And based on the drawing, we need to do taking off and prepare bill of quantities for this concrete road. As we can see in the diagram, there will be concrete curb on both sides of the road and then the dimension is provided in the diagram and to make the things clear, this is basically one unit of concrete curb together with the dimension 150 times 150 basically this present one unit of curb and then this one is the pedestrian lane or we call it also as a footpath and this is example of dowel bar that we put inside of concrete road as stated in the question 10 dowel bars are used for each expansion joint whereby here we have two expansion joint and for each expansion joint there will be 10 numbers of dowel bar that will be put at this expansion joint next we look at the solution for this example. First, we solve for the reinforced concrete. Based on the diagram provided, we know that the thickness of the concrete will be 180 mm. And to solve for the concrete, basically we are going to determine the quantity which is the area of the concrete root. First, we have 18 and we have 4.6. So we multiply this, we are going to get 82.8 meter squared of concrete root. For that one, basically is the area for this section, provided the length is 4 meter or 4000 mm. And also, we need to add with the dimension of the curb because the root concrete also exists under the root curb and is provided here the dimension is 150 and 
150 so it will be 300 for each side of the road when we sum up we are going to get 4.6 meter and then the length will be 18 meter from the dimension provided which is 5 meter plus with 2 meter plus 4 meter plus another 2 meter and plus 5 meter the total will be 18 meter basically the area of 82.8 meter squared is the area that I put in the green color another section we have 4.6 multiply with 1.7 and it will be 7.8 meters squared and basically the area of 7.8 meters squared is the area that I put in the blue color if we zoom the section it will be like this and based on the drawing provided the dimension given is 4 meter at the middle and then it stated that 2 meter in radius as we can see there is a round shape here with the radius of 2 meter bear in mind the area that I highlight with the green color we already calculated in previous step then the remaining height that we need to calculate is 1.7 meter because the dimension of concrete curb is 0.3 meter the width of the road will be 4 meter plus with the dimension of concrete curb 0.3 and another 0.3 the total width of the road will be 4.6 meter thus the area here will be 1.7 multiply with 4.6 and it will be 7.8 meters squared after we complete the area for section 1 which I mark with the green color and area for section 2 that I mark with blue color we still have another small portion of area that need to be calculated the one that I mark with the red color basically we can see the shape of square with the dimension of 1.7 meter and then we have another shape of a quarter of circle with the radius of 1.7 meter therefore the small portion of area that need to be determined equal to I mark as area for section 3 it will be area of the square 1.7 multiply with 1.7 minus with area of a quarter of circle meaning that 1 over 4 multiply with pi r squared whereby the radius will be 1.7 and based on the drawing we have another section with the same value of area if you look in the solution first it has 1.7 multiply with 1.7 meaning that this is the area for the square provided there will be two units because we have both sides of the road and it will be deducted with the area of a quarter of circle 1 over 4 multiply with pi r squared and don't forget to put the value of 2 at the time sink because there will be two units of this area at both sides of the road and finally we get the answer for area for the concrete road it will be 91.85 meter squared next for waterproof paper based on the drawing provided for the cross section of the road the waterproof paper will be a layer under the concrete road therefore the area will be the same with the area for concrete road which is 91.85 meter squared next for expansion joint we are going to determine the length for the expansion joint based on the diagram provided we know that the width of the road will be 4.6 because it will also include the concrete curb the total length will be 4.6 multiplied with 2 because we have two number of expansion joint and the answer for expansion joint is 9.2 meter next for fabric reinforcement based on the drawing the layer of fabric reinforcement is under the concrete road thus the area will be the same with the area of concrete road and provided this fabric reinforcement is 
3 kg per square meter. Hence, the area is 91.85 multiplied with 3 kg per meter squared. So the answer will be 275.55 kg for fabric reinforcement. Next, for precast concrete curb, we are going to determine the total length of concrete curb. Based on the diagram, at this side, the total length of concrete curb will be 18 meter, And then at another side, it will have two straight curb. Each length will be 5 meter. So we put inside of taking off. We have 18 meter. And we have two number of length with 5 meter. It will be 28. And then we have two number of curve curb. If we look in this diagram, there will be two number of curve curb, provided that the radius is 2 meter. For a complete circle, the circumference will be 2 pi r. In our case here, we only have a quarter of circle, whereby the circumference will be 1 over 4 multiplied with 2 pi r, and it will be pi r over 2. This is for one quarter circle. So we put the value in our taking off. We have two number of curve curve. For one curve, the circumference will be 1 over 2 multiply with pi multiply with radius whereby the radius will be 2 meter and the answer will be 6.3. So we total up the total precast concrete curve is 34.3 meter. The next step is for dowel bars. Based on the diagram, there will be two expansion joint. Stated in the question, 10 dowel bars will be used for each expansion joint and the dowel bars is 2.466 kg per meter. We put the value in the taking off sheet. We have two number of expansion joint. There will be 10 numbers of dowels for each expansion joint. The length for one dowel is 0 0.5 meter and the dowel is 2.466 kg per meter. After we multiply this value, we are going to get 24.66 kg for the dowel bars. And lastly, for the paving slab, we are going to determine the area for the paving slab for footpath. The width for the footpath will be 1.5 meter. And then the length of the footpath is 18 meter. We put in our taking off 18 multiply with 1.5 and it will be 27 square meter. After we complete with taking off, next we can prepare our bill of quantities. We just put all the quantities of material that we calculated in our taking off together with the units. And if we have the rate, we can calculate for the amount and we can have the total cost for this concrete road. That is how measurement of road work for rigid pavement is done. First, we need to calculate quantities of all materials and then we can prepare bill of quantities. After we complete bill of quantities, we can determine the total cost for the concrete road. I hope all of students will get benefits and knowledge from this video. See you again in the next video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.